Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel. In the previous video, we have seen some of the event modifiers, right? So we have seen that event dot prevent prevent thing stop and also mouse right click also we have seen. In this video, we will see some of the event modifiers and also we will see about the v1s directive. What is this v1s directive? Okay. So before continuing to this video, if you are coming first time to here, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. So that I'll be posting more and more front-end development courses. Now, see here, for example, here we have the name, right? So here we have the name. And now what I want to do is, for example, here I will be showing your name is something like, like this. I am showing. Okay. Now if I try to see the output, here you are able to see that your name is your name is like the two times. So if you are updating, you are able to update this one. Okay, that's fine, well and fine. Now I have some default uh, username. So Leela Web Dev. Okay. Mm, I can write that your actual name is. Okay. Or otherwise your initial name is. Okay. Initial name is this one. Now see if I try to refresh this one. Your initial name is Leela Web Dev. Fine. Right. If I try to change here, stop top one it should not change only the down one it has changed so we need to retain somehow retain the initial name okay we need to retain somehow in retain the initial name so this can be achieved through the v ones directive okay for example see here name is there here name is there right so if i write here v hyphen ones only one time only it will be rendered so that means only one time only that name variable will be presented all the time then afterwards after after that one only once after once it will not be replaced it will not be re-rendered again so now if i try to see the output here okay if i try to see the output here leela web we got it right now if i try to write it now see top one is not changing only the bottom one is changing right so this is the use of v1's directive so v1's directive what it will do is only the one time only one time only it will render that variable and afterwards it will not render that variable again so that means one time it will render that variable means the name variable it will take that value and it will displayed here initial name and afterwards it will not check the data so data with this one so whenever this name is changing it will not bother before it will not bother only this one will change why because it has a v1s directive so that is the reason it is not changing okay so this is about the v1s directive and coming to another one see here what i want to do is another requirement is just i want to tell you the requirements another requirement what i want to do is here when i am changing here automatically it is changing right so now i don't want that name to be changed when i press enter in this input box only then only it need to change okay how we can achieve this one now here what i can do is so here it is changing the vi input like this right what i can do i can go here and i can do confirm name or something like this okay so this could be something like empty i can keep it as empty and now what we need to do when the user presses enter only then i need to update this one up, update that name so name should be displayed so what can i do here so what can i do is so here we can use another directive v hyphen on so we can apply as many event bindings you want you can apply okay so key up key up is equal to key up is equal to set confirm name okay set confirm name and here what i can use is dot enter so enter dot enter is an another event modifier you can have dot control you can have dot page down you can have shift whatever the event modifiers you want to keep you can keep so if you want to know more about this event modifier you can see the uh, vue.js full documentation so we need to do the key up dot enter so when when the user presses enter only we need to execute this confirm name and what i can do here in the methods what i can write set confirm name and in this one what i can write is this dot confirm name okay is equal to sorry is equal to this dot name so i can assign that name into the confirm name and what i can do here i can display the confirm name here so directly it's finished what i can do now so if i try to check the output here Okay, so your name is empty. Initial name is Leela Webdo. When I try to change, it will it will not change anything. 
now when i press enter automatically see the data has been populated here okay so this is the way we can use the event modifiers in the vue.js so right now we have used we have seen about the v1's directive v1's directive what it will do is it will render only one time only so it will be useful to render the variable only one step so all the time when the when that variable is changing again again also this will not bother and and also we have seen another another thing that is nothing but key up dot enter dot enter so if you want to have any key you, if you want you can have escape also so you will be having anything okay so these these are the key key modifiers okay we can say it as key event modifiers we have seen about the click dot right mouse modifiers we have seen and here we have seen the event modifiers and here we have seen the key modifiers also so these are the modifiers how we can use easily so in the angular means we need to write so much of code but here we can easily with, with an event modifier so vue.js ships with the inbuilt modifiers we can make use of these inbuilt modifiers and we can use these things like that okay and also v1's directory also v1's directory also so if you want to render the variable only one time only then we can use this v1's directory that is, these are the modifiers and the v1's directive if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you